Welcome to the Master Dealmaker's Secrets Podcast. And now, here's sales growth strategist, John Blake. Welcome to Master Dealmaker Secrets. I'm John Blake. This is episode 60. And today we are going to be talking to George Slater about how you can save, if you're an individual, somewhere in between three and $6,000 per year, almost straight away, through looking at your expenses. Uh, but before we do that, if you have got lead flow and you're looking to convert more of those leads into sales, head over to johnblakeaudio.com and get your audio training where I show you the precise strategy that you can use to double your, ex- your sales with your existing leads. This is the exact same strategy I teach my high ticket clients. It works consistently. Once you put it to place, put it into place in your business, it'll deliver consistent results. So head over to johnblakeaudio.com and grab the audio training. What you're also going to get is the PDF guide that has the exact email follow-up templates, the phone scripts, and the framework on when to call over an eight-week period. So I think that's going to be super valuable. Head over and grab that. Um, So what we've got now is uh, George, George Slater. He is a retired CRM specialist and uh, he is still still pretty active and we've kept in contact. He's been a, a mentor of mine for a number of years. He was the director of online for Worldwide Salon Marketing and he was also responsible for helping um, the owner of, of Worldwide um, Salon Marketing, Greg, to really uh, rationalise his expenses and, and right-size the business over a number of years. And so he's He's um, got a lot of experience in how to do that. And so today we're going to be talking about that and I am really excited to be chatting to George. I've got George Slater here with me and um, I've known George for many years. He uh, was actually one of our first mentors when I first started in sort of internet marketing and um, and that world and he's run worldwide sell on marketing. He's authored a couple of books, um, which I'm sure we can sort of talk about a little bit later. But the reason that I've got George on today is because, you know, we are in incredibly unique times. I think it's a fairly um, diplomatic way of putting it. Um, And there's lots of people talking about, you know, how you can maximise sales and, you know, even some people that are um, alluding to the fact that you actually might even be able to thrive regardless of what sort of business that you're in. And, um, I don't necessarily agree with that, but I think one of the ways that you can minimise the impact is by really rationalising your expenses. And uh, George has has done this for a number of businesses that he has worked in, um, and and so he's done it a number of times. He you know retired actually pretty early, I reckon, um, <laughs> when you consider uh, what t- you know how long most people work until. So. He's got a really deep knowledge about how to do this. And so I thought I'd get him on um, to talk about this. And, and look, you know, depending on what sort of business you, you have or if you're an individual, you can easily save between three and $6,000 a year if you're an individual. But if you're a business, that, you know, that can be a lot, a lot higher. So we've got a list of things that we're going to go through. And I think it'll be really useful for anyone who's listening here that wants to trade profitably through this time, who needs to right size. Um, because you know some of these things might sound obvious, but there's going to be a couple of a couple of gems in there that you're just not doing. And if you do do them, uh, you know I think you'll, you'll you'll emerge a lot leaner and a lot more profitable. You know once we pop out the other end. So, um, g'day, George. How are you going? I'm going well, thank you, John. Thank you. Thank Mate, you for good. inviting me on. Oh no drama, no drama. So. Um, mate, we've, we've got this list and uh, so I want to walk through it with you. Yep. So, um, so so number one there, it's, you know, cut down costs. So, you know, I, I guess, you know, yeah, so or, let, let, let's just set the speaking. stage. Can we just set the stage? So yeah, yeah. first list is for you personally is what you, you should do anyway all the time, mm-hmm. probably once a year. Mm-hmm. And people go, oh, doesn't that take a long time? I think I said it to you. It took me two days. Yep. $6,112. Yeah, nice. Now, now there's a similar lot of time to take two days to do that. It doesn't and, and that was and that was you. Three thousand dollars a day out of tax income. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So, and that was you, and you, you're doing this pretty regularly anyway, and you managed to yeah. save six grand. Yeah. So, so you know, the average punter that probably hasn't had a look at these things for a long time, 
um, you know, would pro- could potentially be a, a whole heap more. Oh, yeah. The, the things that oh, I'll do that another time, I'll do that another time, I'll do that another time. Yeah, yeah. And they're just one of those things you can sit there now, you know. It came from actually my, one of my friends on um, in Bristol where I used to live. He, yep. he just said, I feel guilty for doing nothing. And I wrote a stroppy rant to him, yeah. very badly written. Uh, we've now corrected the English team, huh. saying, Tim, stop doing this, do this instead. <laughs> Which was actually the call to action of when I was a little, when we had summer holidays, there was actually yeah. a BBC programme that was actually a stolen programme that said, uh, don't do that, do this instead. So ah, it actually me- meant something to him. Oh, um, good. So that would have resonated. So um, so the first thing you've said is, you know, all the things that cost you money that you don't want, uh, that you may not want or that you may want but don't need, yes. um, you know, get rid of them yep. um, and then tender every every cost that's left over. So you, Correct. Uh, on, on here you said you saved six and a half grand, two days of work, um, as an example, you've got five uh, streaming services. You like and want them, but don't really need all of them. But so you rationalise them down to two. Yeah. So um, it's literally the easiest thing to do is just get a print out of your bank statement and your credit card. Yeah. Again, this is on the business level. We'll go into the company level later, but it's just you know nuances of, of, of things. Yeah. So exactly. Forensically go through each item. And go. Do I need that? Yeah. Love Don't it. need that. Cancel, cancel, cancel. And then the next so one, when I, I say tender. You said, you said you had 95% of the programs um, were on two of them, so that made it yeah. you know, that, that made it a pretty easy decision. And it's not like it's not like they're gonna let they, it's not like they're gonna not let you back in later if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so, so they're all seven dollars or fourteen dollars for two screens. I kept yeah. Prime, I kept Netflix. Yeah, there you, but, go. you know, if, if I want to go to Stan or something like that, just can Netflix and go to Stan for a yeah. month. Yeah, exactly. So um, get three new quotes um, and um, and then, so get three new quotes, so car insurance. Yeah, so uh, yeah, and yeah, when, yeah, I, when yeah. I say tender, you just do it on the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you're tendering it, but you're getting three quotes. So, yeah. so you had four cars you needed to tender like-for-like policies. Yeah. Um, basically, you got on the phone, read out the current contract, answered some of their questions, um, don't be put on, don't, and you and you said here, don't be put off by the ones that ask you the most questions because they're the ones that are probably most keen to get yeah. business. Now, j- just to explain a little difference between when I did this and today, mm-hmm. I did this uh, like last November or, or something, yep. and between now and then, mm-hmm. there's been the bushfires, there's been drought, there's been a lot of insurance claims. So generally... This is where people don't understand. Generally, across all insurance, across all markets in in Australia, yep. insurance has gone up. Yeah, the way they pay for it is they actually spread it across everything. Yeah, so you're paying extra now for car insurance because they didn't do proper burning off in in New South Wales. Yep, and that's just the way it is. So car insurance, every insurance has gone up a bit because that's how insurance works. But you still saved 1162 bucks. Oh, yeah, and you can still <laughs> save money, you know. So, I mean, basically what happened, I was with SGIA. I looked at the form and went, they're trying to try, hit me for a RAV4. You know, I, I buy cars and I keep them, I mean, I maintain them and I drive them into ground. But, um, you know, so it's 20 years old and it was um $682. My wife wanted a new one, so she's not into cars. So like, what, what do you want? Another one of those. What colour? Same colour. Okay. So I bought the one with the leather and everything. Do you want to test drive it? No. Will you bring it home now? That's, and that was three hundred and sixty-two dollars. So double what my twenty-year no half what my twenty-year. So I rang up SGIL. Oh, pots cost more and like that. So I just rang up IC, put them all through, and because it was like a, I I joined the roadside assistance as well. I got the gold membership and all the prices dropped. So. Six hundred and eighty two went to hundred and twelve dollars. Wow. Period. Awesome. Brilliant. Even worth doing it monthly. Yeah. Exactly. So um so same with life insurance, trauma, T P D. Um Well in fact, and I am not, you know, I'm not you need to go to a specialist. Yeah, we're not giving advice here. But um we're not giving advice here, but um uh, personally I would have life, which I have in my super fund. Yep. Which so which you should really have. So Whether what? you have a self-managed fund or, or a non-self-managed fund. Mm-hmm. In fact, a lot of the union funds and stuff 
cheapest life insurance you ever get. Mm. Make sure you maximise it. So what you basically need to cover all your, I mean, it's always with with life insurance. Insure your life, insure mm. your debts, insure with your wife. Yeah, uh, because normally the men do basically. You got to look like okay. If I die tomorrow, I have enough. My wife has enough money to live until she dies, and enough money to put the kids through uni. Yeah, then they're on their own. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Okay. TPD, then you need a bit of trauma is always good. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I've, I've, I've well, got go, go to the right agent to get it. Yes, most definitely. Yeah. So um, we went and, from... And so, what, and so while you're looking at insurance, I mean, if you've got a business, same thing with business insurance, same thing... You, with you just change the name. You yeah. just go, you yeah. know, here I've got trauma, there I've got human insurance. Yeah. Here I've got yeah. home and contents, there I've got business... Business insurance, machinery yeah. breakdown insurance. Um, here, here I've got, you know, home and contents, which includes... Trade is falling off the roof. In business, yep. I have a indemnity. Yeah. Same um, time. Home and contents, travel insurance. Yeah, let's stop. Let's stop there then. Yeah. So I went through all of those and got. I mean, I got a big chunk off my insurance life insurance. Yep. I've been you know twenty years with um one company mm-hmm. and they put it up eighteen percent. Now CPI is three. Yeah. So they said we're paying out more money. Well, how, if people are living longer. How are you paying out more money? Yeah. <laughs> so you're reading off a cheap marketing gave you because you just told a furphy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you can personally be liable. I heard it crumbling the paper up. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. There you go. So I went back to my financial advisor and he got actually got a combank insurance for for 15% less than the last year's insurance, which worked out to be three grand. Cool. Savings yeah. altogether. I mean, I have reasonably big insurance. Yeah. So, what's worth so, so there's all of those. Then there's yeah, then, the then get to home and contents. Yes. Most people over-insure. Yes, they do. So this is a, like a catering trick. Go into your house and keep turning left. Write everything down until you get back to where you started by going through a maze. Yeah. Then actually count it up, you know. So I've got a quarter of a million dollars. When you actually count it up and, you know, new for old, okay, we got, you know, we got nice fancy leather Nick Scarly things and stuff. But how much would the insurance company have to pay you? You know, you can get mad and get an actuary to do it or get somebody to do it, but it's yeah. probably far less than you think. Yeah. You know, so the, the say, items you have are probably... Too. Yeah. You know, they, they go on the phone and go, oh, let's do it for a quarter of a million. Sounds right. But when you actually write them down, it's a lot less so... First of all, you're insuring too much, mm-hmm. and then you you need to tender it as well. Yep, exactly. So, um, so that's yeah, home contents. Um, make sure you're getting the best mortgage and loan rates. Yeah. So again, so, so yeah. call three banks. Expect 0.25 to five percent discount, depending on how long ago it was that you did it. Yeah. By saying that you are looking at moving your business. Yeah, and they are the banks. You know. Uh, well, I lived in Kalamunda. I went to, um, I, I know the banking people quite well because I have to move money and stuff to states, to the trading stuff I do. And um, the loan manager there left and went to another branch because they hadn't written a loan in three and a half months. Oh, wow. So the refinancing mortgages was the only thing they were doing because everybody up in, you know, they're all old and they're, everybody's paying their debts off. Mm. The kids are, are uni and they're paying everything down as fast as they can. But no, no loans. She came back because even in June, up with her younger people, hardly any loans, and just because of a succession planning, that she changed her job up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, you know, so the banks will give you discounts and stop you. The sort of technical word is churning. Yep. And just make sure you're getting the best deal. Then what you do is just keep paying the same amount, even though you got a better deal. Yeah, yeah, of course. Pay the same amount so you yeah. get your your mortgage paid off in. Yeah, yeah, definitely faster. Um, so we talked, talked about that. Check your health fund. Make sure you're yeah. not paying for things that you don't need. Um, yeah, so for you instance, might want to dump getting pregnant if you pass yeah. that. <laughs> that was my <laughs> wife. Was, we yeah. probably don't need that one anymore. No. So, you know, sometimes take some of the extras off, but add some back in and go bigger. Yeah, yeah. You know, so certain things like, oh, yeah, I don't want that, but that I want a bit more of. You know, yeah. I, I want more dentistry. I want more glasses. I want more. But take off physio, take off this, take off that. Um, note children on the health 
policy may drop off at age 21 unless they're students. Yeah. So make sure that you're not paying. Yeah. So for instance, my daughter's just in 22 because she is a student. Yep. Um, a little girl passed her first degrees and all double degree and now, now is doing law. Yep. Um, but because of that, she can still stay on the health fund until until 26. She's about 26. Yeah. So we don't have to get a new one. So it's just a form you fill in and yeah. Do it. Otherwise, they won't drop off, or you may not know. And then I like the next one: like, do a forensic look at um, every line that comes out on your bank and credit card. Because, and I, I think that the death by a thousand cuts there are the subscriptions, the software subscriptions oh, that you're not using. I'm going to tell you the story. You know, so you said I went to worldwide seller marketing. Yeah. So I've been saying to Greg for a long time: do this to get rid of all those. You know what they're like. Some of the subscriptions you and sign, I sign up for is like yeah. Yeah, you can unsubscribe on a Wednesday morning, Pacific time yeah. in America if you've got your granddad, your grandmother, and there's a blue moon. Yeah, if you, hey. if you click through 15 screens on yeah. the website, you might find the cancellation button. Yeah, yeah. and I, I've done things like you know, when, I, when all this stuff was going on, Brexit, I was following it. Big companies like The Spectator you know, signed up, they emailed me with my email address, couldn't find me in the system. <laughs> Pardon? Can't find you. So you send stuff to my email address. I send, that was the like, and you can't find me to cancel the contract after, you know, it was like a month trial or something. No. So we've charged you. Okay. Well, we're going to the credit card company because that's coming off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Expect- There's a system for doing, but, um, expect, what- expect a charge back on that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Expect a black point coming your way. Yeah. Uh, Greg, no. Famous story, you know, Greg always says, you know, he's like, his wife spent, you know, lost a credit card, but the thief had um, spent less than she did, so. <laughs> but she actually lost the company credit card. Yeah. So I've been telling him to do this for ages. They, you know, they chopped it up and then they had a few things like, you know, people calling them and going, you need to pay this for your website. So he got all that sort of that, but he probably got five subscriptions he couldn't get rid of. They're all phoning him and he's just going, Sorry? Then there you are. So you saved about two fifty a month. Yeah, and, and I like that thing is that some people that you just won't be able to do it. So you literally have to cancel the credit card to get cancel it. the credit card. When you do it, have a look around the market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went from having get this, you know, you know, because I go off on these cruises and stuff. And I pay for everything by credit card. Mm. I, most people don't know you can be in credit on your credit card. Yeah. Okay, so my limit's really, really small. People go like, why do I have a 20 grand limit? Because the bank, when you you go to the bank and they, more now than they used to, they look at, you, look at your credit score. It's not so much as in America, but we're going to get there in the next two years. Yeah. So you want a really, really good credit score. Yeah. So you can like Lisa Merck, the same as a Holden. Yeah. You know, a person with bad credit will pay the same as a Holden as you yeah. do for America if you've got good. So one of the points is they always look at the amount you have on your credit card as debt. Yes, they do. So if you've got two cards, with 20 grand on, I presume you've got 40 grand worth of debt. Then you go, I pay every month. I don't know. Doesn't matter. That's what they presume. Squeeze your thing down and put your card into credit. Yeah. So when I'm abroad and we buy some nice trinkets and stuff for the trouble and stuff, mm. I just ring up security, move the money, and bang, do the deal in the shop. Yeah. So you can be in credit on your credit card and pay for yeah. everything on your credit card, including trouble. Yeah, that's good. Okay, we'll come to insurance later on with your credit card. Yep. Um, um, but also get the deal. So Commonwealth Bank rang me up and said, well, it's like, where's my Qantas points this month? I went, sorry, you've spent too much money. Sorry, say that again. you spent too much money and you've reached your limit of the Qantas points we're going to give you. Wow. <laughs> so you want I me to go and get another change. credit card? Time you want me to get another credit card? So yeah. I've got a nice Qantas one. There four times go. the points. Perfect. And that you is- spent too much money. Don't you make money when I spend money? Isn't that like the... You spent too much money. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, I will. There you go. Um, so same with your phone bill, internet yeah. service. And go, go with your phone bill, like with Telstra, unwrap all those... You know, this includes Foxtel, this includes... Yeah, and you're yeah. just overpaying for what you don't need. Yeah. Especially in your business ones. If you're out of contract on a Telstra contract in your business, never change it. Only stay out of contract. 
Yeah. Do not sign a new contract. Okay. Mm. And never sign up with um, what's that commander company. Really? Yeah. They'll come in and go, oh, we can get it cheaper. And you, I don't know if you ever watched that Seinfeld thing about buying a car. But what's this charge for? Oh, the keys. <laughs> I don't need. Oh, well, you know, it's like when what happened is um, Seinfeld's, you know, that girl in there, she was going out with the car guy. Yeah. And when she was going out with him, he got all these discounts. And then she started going out with him and they all came back onto the bill. But what's the keys for? I don't know. It's just 40 bucks. And it's the same with that. If you do anything with Commander or any of the more complex, let's say, Telstra bills. So, um, yeah, so phone bill, in, uh, internet, Foxtel. Um, and then we've got, if you rent, um, pretty easy to get. In fact, uh, Andy's landlord rang up and we looked after him. Yeah. So well, it's just the way it is in the marketplace. Yeah, it's exactly. Just, no, I'm running a scenario at the moment because I'm looking at re-signing a, a thing, staying here in an extra 12 months this year. We had a sea change from the, the hills down to the sea. Not here, not actually in San Francisco. In no. Carter's low birth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, so I'm going to, like, try and cancel the three months left on it and give him a 17-month or a 15-month contract. Yep. That's where it's money. Yeah, totally. So go in, go uh, out. Right, 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 skills the skills that you should be learning. So how to use Excel, better customer management. Yeah. You should do a sales training course while you're at it. Most definitely. Um, you're going to need to. Yeah, be all, all, all the things that you should get around. What's that? All the things you should have got around. To. Yeah. Yeah. I, I saw a thing the other day. It's like, uh, you know, that, that reason that, that, that excuse that I've been giving about how I don't have time to do that thing. Turns out that wasn't the reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I, I lent somebody once. It was the most hysterical thing. I was, I was in this business group, and so I was standing next to this. Everybody would think like a greeny sort of um, massage lady. She's actually not. And I lent um, the bookkeeper the four-hour work week. Oh, yeah. She gave it back to me. You know what she said? What? I'm too busy. I didn't have time to read it. Oh, there you go. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. The, the, the person next to me just stood there, and she just looked at me and said, did she seriously say that? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Irony. Yeah. The irony. Um, listen to books. Listen to books. Read, yeah, read books. or listen you know, to books. Free, you know. free um, Audible, Kindle, free trial. Um, yeah. find Again, books. sign up and immediately unsign. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Find um, four great podcasts to listen to. Including yours. Master Dealmaker Secrets. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, do an hour exercise a day at home, do 30 minutes of yoga, stretches. Yeah, um, maybe have a goal, like, you know, can you do the splits, can you touch the floor with your hands? Mate, just stretching. Just, you know, just stretching. Move a millimetre a day. Just stretching's great. Yeah. Oh, I, you know, I, I don't right. stretch enough. It's awesome. Um, if nobody's seen John in the last, like, three years, he's put on, like, 25 kilos of muscle. <laughs> <laughs> Um, do an hour exercise a day, do 30 minutes of yoga and stretches, um, sort out your filing, get your, get your tax ready, call five friends and have yeah. a real talk. So the, the, these are all like real, real things, you know, if you can find files quickly, that saves you a lot of time. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. A scanner and a shredder, that's the way to go. Yeah, definitely. Um, watch and and in line with that, just I bought a new printer the other day, absolutely yeah. fabulous. Really? The new Epson one, the new, um, I'm going to do a review on it. It's the um, Epson ET4700. Hmm. It has bottles of ink that last 5,000 prints. Really? What is it? The so they're like, it's $480, in, um, um, $480 in Office Weeks. We looked up online and they gave us 5% of whatever my wife found. So. Four hundred and fifty-two dollars, I think. But the the bottles are massive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what it's like. You know, my old one is like one hundred and twelve dollars for ink cartridges, and they run out so quick. Yeah, it's ridiculous. This one's better. This one's more efficient than a laser. There you go. Uh, yeah, so watch you one do that way, doco. you know, shred everything. One watch one great doco a day. Don't watch crappy cat mm. videos. That's a good one. Um, don't listen to too much news. Yeah, I, th- I think this is massive. Like I've. Uh, you know, since this thing started, it's like, you know, if the news is on for longer than about 10 minutes, it just starts to, it just, 
makes you just make, you know, internally you just start to feel weird <laughs> and it just cuts off that, that part of your brain that, that, that believes that things are possible. I, and I um, and they're looking at all the wrong data. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're just all, cherry picking. To make if you look, you know, it's like the deaths in the states are above Italy. Well, yeah, because Italy's got a population of like fifty-two million, and the states have got three hundred and sixty-eight. Yes. So you turn it into percentage, and it's suddenly like, well, Italy's got fourteen percent, and America's got four. You know, it's just all the media don't like Trump. Yeah, not, so not comparing, not comparing no, apples. It's not apples. like for like. No. And they're all looking at the cumulative da- graph, which will never go down of new cases. Yeah, you've got to look at the you've got to look at the one at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, um, you've got to look at the um, bell curve. Yes, because basically you can go halfway through the bell curve, which America's getting close to now. You go backwards to when it started, forwards to when it's finished. That's when the economy is going to come back. Yeah, and it ain't Christmas. It's not. It's more like middle of end of August, all before. Um, bake a carrot cake. That one's pretty self-explanatory. Sort out and scan all your old photos and edit them. Save them to your computer and online if you don't know how. Um, then Yeah, basically go on a course. Yeah, exactly. Go on a course. Yeah. Um, if you have a business and a website, write 10 new articles. I like that. Write some yeah. content. Well, no, actually write – probably the thing to do is actually write a complete blog plan for a year. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, plan it all out. Um, yeah, in, in fact, I, I saw that the other day. We've got the guy that writes out, um, he just sits there and pumps out, um, you know, like two months' worth of worth of content in one sitting. That mm. way he's just got everything dialed into, you know, yeah. um, Hootsuite or whatever he uses and he just goes boom, 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 everything's just dialed. Well, you know what I'm like with CRM systems. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, now, and remember, you don't have to write everything new. No, you can recycle stuff. Recycle, and not not because you're doing it cheap or anything, but no. you know, let, let's let's take any business. Every business probably has a, a an event each year. You don't have to write new things about the event. No. Yeah, you might write something new about the hotel you stayed in last year, where you're going to go, where you're going to eat this year. That that's like new blog stuff. Mm. But like the event, how you book in and stuff like that is always always the same. The mm. marketing calendar, you know, certain things are always the same. You know, yes. you know, however regular up with someone's, you know. So, you know, selling selling vouchers at Christmas to make sure you're busy in January was a great thing to do. Yep. And then you've got, you know, standard things, you've got Valentine's Day, you've got Melbourne Cup, you've got all, all these things that, like, are beauty. But whether you sell mattresses, it's the same thing. You know, it's like, you know, there'll be mattress day, there'll be different things of how to treat your mattress. And they're good things. And, you know, most people forget after six weeks, so don't worry about a year. Yeah, it's good. And, you know, how often should training be? You know, the church ministers go back every week. It's just the same thing. <laughs> the liturgy changes and this changes, but we all stand up and say the Lord's Prayer the same. You know, it's like exactly the same. Very and true. There's a reason for it. Very true. So, yeah, I think this is going to be really useful, mate. I think, you know, there's, there, you know, while people have got that extra time, it's like this is a, a great checklist to go through. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, people are sitting there with the time to do it. And, yeah. yeah. You know, easily save yourself between three and six grand. Yeah, easily. And then just basically do it for yourselves. And if you then want to share that with your customers, a great thing for reciprocity because your customers are also out there wondering what to do. Yeah. So if you do that for yourself and for your, your business, you know, those are costs that will go on for four or five years. Yeah. But remember, you should do that, put two days aside every year to do it. Yeah. You know, if you save six grand out of tax income, how long does that take to, to earn? A lot. Double if you're yeah. paying if you, yeah, if you're not doing the right things with your tax and yeah, if, you, if you can, yeah, if you consider GST and and PAYG and company tax, yeah, it's double. Yeah, easily, easily. Mm. Now you can do, you know, obviously, you know, I've done that quite a few companies. Um, all my seller money down to the thing that we turned off. There was fridges out the back and yeah. freezers that had nothing in them. One freezer we literally pulled out, pushed out. Our electricity bill went down because you get them by monthly, don't they? $280. That's not a lot, but 12 months, that's, well, six six bills. Yeah, yeah. That's 1400 bucks. A that lot. pays for all your internet and, your, you know, the, the cost of your photocopy lease and, you know, those types of things, they all end up, you know, it's all, yeah. 
I mean, most, 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 people, most people are used to listening to me talking about how to, how to in, increase their top line, but this is good to be talking about how to increase your bottom line. Well, you don't need so many sales. I mean, you don't need, then you're not getting so desperate. Yes, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, totally agree. And you know, you know, you get it all in a spreadsheet, you know, we'll, I literally put everything into a spreadsheet and went through every single item. Yeah. That's what they call Mr. Razorblade. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you sat down and go, well, you know, we saved, you know, funny things like, you know, Greg Grunder's server, and he didn't realise that HostGator had helped him because he had a virus on them from like 12 years ago or something. They moved a complete server over. But they didn't come to the old contract for, for the other one. Two hundred and sixty dollars a month, American. Two sixty. Well, he's got a lot of websites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, but that so, was two sixty. Yeah. You didn't need to be paying. Yeah, crazy. Because and US, somebody, US, somebody that, the right US, US that adds, that adds another bloody. Uh, At the time, it was more part. Hundred, hundred. Today, today it'd be money. Yeah, yeah, but today it'd be yeah three fifty or. To it. I can guarantee you there's lots and lots of things out there like that you're paying. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, Until anything, you go through it bit by bit. Yeah. A- any your wife to chat. Anything, <laughs> any subscription from the States, it's like, yeah. you know, you've got to look at that thing real hard. Yeah. And then obviously we come into, you know, how you make money these days as well. So yeah, we've got a whole scenario on that as well if you want to do another another one with, you know, yeah. how, you, oh. how you're selling products and services now. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm going one through that. She made sixteen thousand in two days. Say that again. One client made sixteen thousand in two days. Nice. Yeah, I've, I've got a um, one of my clients um, just sold a thousand units of a thirty-five dollar ebook. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Um, yeah, and it's just simple. They just rang the customers. You know, this thing we used to use to talk yeah. to people. Yeah, 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 yeah. No That's email cool. rubbish. No. Facebook offers. No, exactly. Mate, this is awesome. Thank you very much. No worries. Maybe I'll we'll 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 see people like that. Oh, I, I think it will for sure, mate. And we'll look forward to having you on again. You've been listening to Master Dealmaker's Secrets with John Blake. Subscribe to get more in-depth strategies to maximize your sales process with new episodes every week. And double your inquiry to sale conversion with the lead flow you already have. Go to johnblakeaudio.com for his exclusive free no-fluff audio training and companion PDF guide.